Hey there, Tater Tots! Man, it feels sweet to be saying that again. Welcome to my brand spanking new hardcore world in Minecraft 1.20.4. Unlike my previous series, I was very particular about the seed that I was looking for in this one. More on that later though, I'm itching to get started. As you can see, here we are on this island. I don't, can you tell, here, hold on, let me get in this thing. Let me get in this thing. Okay, as you can see, it's an island in the middle of the ocean. We've got some ice all around. We've got some spruce over there. That'll be really nice because all I'm seeing on our island here is oak and birch. But most importantly, we've got a village. We spawned on a village in an island with all the things that we're gonna need nearby and I cannot wait to get started. So let's uh, let's go see what these guys have over here. Oh, we've got some food, that's nice. Oh, this is weird. Okay, we've gotta do some parkour already to get in here and there's not even a chest. Okay, so I went around to all the houses here and this is all I got. It's not much, but it's pretty awesome to get started like this. Let's punch some trees. Now I know what you're thinking. He's gonna make some wood tools and he's gonna make some stone tools and he's gonna go underground, stay there for a few hours and come up with full iron. Well, not today. We're going on an adventure. But first, I'm gonna steal some of these hay bales because look, they have them around everywhere. They're not gonna miss them. So that we can turn them into bread. We're gonna need as much food as we can get. And there. So now I have all the villagers locked up and they won't get into shenanigans while we're gone. By the way, if you're still here at this point, thank you very much for sticking by this long. If you wait until the very end of this episode, I will reward you with some kittens. I will reward you with kittens if you get to the end. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. All right, we are ready to go, and I can already see something in the distance right there that I definitely want to check out. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully we can get something good in here. Where's the chest? Oh, there it is. There it is. Got to watch out for that lava. Uh, well, we've got some armor. We've got a golden apple. Two obsidian is actually very helpful. I'll just take all of it. I never use fire. Do you guys use fire charges? If you ever use fire, hold on, let's do this thing. If you ever use fire charges, let me know in the comments because I never use them, like ever. Ooh, a pirate ship. I like pirate ships. You know, I always forget to bring a door on these things. I'm sure it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Exactly what I was looking for, a buried treasure map. All right, what do we have over here? Good, nothing really good. Smithing templates. I have never played with these before. That'll be cool. And then nothing else really all that good. I'll take the suspicious too, just cause. Oh, there it is, there it is, come on. Come on, get it all, get it all, get it all, come on. I'm against the clock. Okay, nuggets are gonna have to wait. Oh, geez. Come on, get out of here, get out of here, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, all the way up. Oh, that was so close. Okay, we're done with this pirate ship. Note to self, always bring a door when exploring the ocean. All right, so line my butt up right with the X should be down here somewhere. So, oh, perfect. Nice. What do we have? Oh, we've got our first diamond. Do the diamond dance. Do the diamond dance. Okay, I'll stop. A lot more iron. That's awesome. We almost have a full set of iron just from, the, just from going out in our little bay here. Bay? Sure, we'll call it a bay. And some cooked cod, I can use that. And Heart of the Sea, which I never use. This would actually have come in handy earlier. Yes, lots of spruce. My favorite wood. Nice, some coal. Can always use coal. You know what would be awesome? Is actually finding an igloo right about now. An igloo with one of those downstairs torture chamber things that, uh, that they have sometimes. Oh, we've got some pumpkins. I don't know what I'll use pumpkins for, but they're good to grab. Oh, I know, I can use them for the Ender Dragon fight. Sweet, another village. Let's see what they've got here. Potatoes, come on, give me a carrot, give me a carrot. Not that I need carrots, but they're always nice to have. Oh, there's a carrot, ah, got a carrot. I don't have a carrot. Got a carrot. Oh my goodness. Uh, yep. Ah, looky what we've got here hiding underneath the ice. Oh, I should really be using the water breathing potion for this. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, nothing, nothing good. Nothing good. Oh, I got moss. You have a baby. I don't want to go anywhere near you. Oh, wow, look at this. We've got an ocean monument there. That's pretty awesome. 
And then right over there, we've got a mushroom biome. Oh, and another ocean monument. Okay, I believe, and I could be wrong, so there's a, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, mushroom Island is that away, along with the, uh, the two ocean monuments, so it's not far at all. It's just like right outside of rendered, you can see the ocean monument there. And I believe this is our island. I, I think so. I think so. I didn't see. I can't see any dirt on the uh, on the houses where I blocked in the villagers. But this might be it. And if that's the case, we've got some really cool stuff right close to home. Yep, this is the one. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, is there anything in here? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, no not my bed. Uh, sure, obsidian. But we might be able to make a nether portal. That's crazy. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Okay, I've got to get back up. Oh, come on. Oh, I could have gone in this thing right here. Ah. Okay, let's take a look at this nether portal. Uh, so it does have some crying obsidian right there, which is kind of lame. Uh, because I, I, I'm still missing one diamond, guys. One diamond in order to make it. Oh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'll get out of here. I'll get out of here. This is your domain. That's fine. Uh, you can even keep the bed. I've got plenty up there with the village. Okay, so we're back home, and I have set up shop right inside of this little bitty village house here, and I've got a little double chest. That's just not going to do, is it? Uh-uh. So I'm going to gather some more resources. You see our, our spruce trees grew here, and I think I'm going to need some cobblestone and oh, just a bunch of other things. And then let's see what we can do about setting up a nice starter house. So I started looking around the island for the best spot to put a temporary starter home. I was going to pick over here, uh, but this is where kind of my tree farm is going. I need to move those spruce over there. Um, so I decided right here next to the village, I had my own private beach right over here. And here's the meager supplies that I have. Again, I've been gathering wood as much wood as I could anyway. A little bit of cobblestone. I found some andesite. I found a little vein of andesite, so that was great. And then I've smelted up a little bit of stone into smooth stone there. Uh, I've got some glass cooking up right here. Now look, guys. Uh, usually I would do like some sort of build time lapse because I've got something planned. Um, that's not the case today. No, I've got nothing planned. I just really like this beach area, and I want to kind of put something behind it. Some sort of with the front yard. Anyway, uh, let's get started. I started out with a 9x9 square of cobblestone to give it a little foundation. Plus, I think it's a perfect size for a starter house. Then I put in my spruce log support beams, about six high on all corners of the foundation. After that, I filled in the walls for the bottom layer with spruce planks, knowing that I'd go back later and add some texturing. For the second story, I always like to push it out a little bit from the first layer, so I did this by adding some oak stairs. Next, I filled in the walls for the second layer, also outlining the roof. I also added a little bit of detail to the front of the build to break up the transition between spruce and oak. Then I added some windows. I usually like to use dark oak fences for something like this, but I didn't have any. Glass paints it is. Next, I outlined the roof with cobblestone and added spruce fences for the upstairs window. Now all it needs is some detailing. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at this. I've got a... Uh, none of this has really changed that much, but if we come in here... I made a little wall around my area here on the beginning of my starter base, the front of my starter base, and I have crops going. These carrots took me a long time to do because I started out with just one. Uh, but here we are. Anyway, so <laughs> I've done, and I still need to add here. Let's do, let's jump up here again. Um, right up there, that's actually a planter box, uh, but I don't have anything to put up there yet. I will explain a little bit of that in a second. If we go inside, you can see, and granted, guys, guys, guys. Look, uh, this is a starter house. I don't have that many materials, so I'm using whatever I have, okay? So if we start off over here on the left, we've got a nice little desk area where I've got some windows that are not positioned very well, but they go with the outside of the house much better. If we go over here to the back corner, this is my bedroom, which is two beds and an end table, I suppose. 
And then if we come over here, we've got some storage, some barrels there, but that's not our only storage. We'll get to the rest in just a second. And then over here, I like to think that this is my kitchen. We're just gonna go with kitchen, okay? Deal with it. Now, if we come up these, this ladder right here, up here is my storage area. So I've got a ton of barrels and this costs a ton of wood to create, uh, but I've got it. And you can see, I've just got some random things. Placed in here, we don't have much to use because most of it has gone into this house so far. Now, if we come back out here, you can see, and I know what you're thinking, like, Tater, what's going on with this roof? I've, you got a nice chimney, that's great, but what's up with the dirt? Well, as you can see, I've got moss. I only had four moss, guys. <laughs> so I've got moss uh, as part of the roof, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bone meal that as I'm able to, as I start to uh, compost these crops. And then um, all of this will be a moss roof. And then in these little planter boxes right here, I'm sorry this is so jerky, by the way, uh, I do plan on having some azalea bushes in both of those. I've got one in the front and one in the back. And now we've got a bit of bone meal. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, this is looking pretty good. What I don't want is a bunch of trees up here. So if we see any trees pop up like this one, we got to get rid of those. Now, I don't mind the grass as long as it's not the tall grass. The short grass is perfectly fine, though. There, that looks really nice. And you can see I also added uh, for our flower box, our planter box up here, I put those azalea bushes. And I think that looks really good. But you see, we've got a problem. I don't have much in the way of iron or even really good tools right now. And yeah, okay, look, I know I said earlier that we weren't gonna do some kind of crazy mining session. So I figured let's go find a cave or something like that. Maybe we can get some more iron because I only have 11 ingots right now. And we're gonna need a lot more than that. But what I will do before we head out is make a shield because we have no idea what we're going to run into with those caves. Oh man, that's a big cave, but I'm not sure I want to explore that quite yet. All right, I'm back from our 17, almost 18 minute uh, caving trip, and let me show you my haul. Okay, so it may not look like much, but this bottom row is everything we just got from that. Plenty of iron, plenty of iron. We're going to be upgrading our armor really quickly. A little bit of lapis, which was really cool, and then lots of coal, which will be really important for the early game. Ah, that feels so much better. So much better. Come on, right this way. And there, we've got an early game cow crusher going on. And then I just flip this up so that I can collect the drops. Uh, but I think we've got like four cows in there. So it's going to be a little while till we can actually use this. Now, there's something else that has been on my mind for months now. Absolutely months. We need a friend. You see, I do a little bit of multiplayer stuff, but primarily I'm playing by myself. And it gets lonely. So I know I saw one of you guys around here earlier. There it is. Come back. What are you running away for? Here, hold on. Hold on. I got some of these. I got some of these. Come but what do you... Oh, I thought, he, I, thought, I thought that was the wolf taking damage, but it's just a pig. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey, come here. Stop running away. Oh, there's two of you. I might be able to take both of you. I don't know. That's two bones. Three. Four. Oh, yes. Yes, you love me. We're best friends. Where's that other one? Where's that other one? Come here. Come here. This way. Come on. I've got three shots. Three shots. Uh, there's one. Two. Uh, three. No dice. Okay, but we have one. We have one. And guess who this is? Oh, Spuddy. Spuddy. Sorry, Spuddy. This is a chess boat. You're going to have to make the swim yourself. There we go. You can sit right there by my desk and at the foot of my bed. I have missed you, Spuddy. I almost said buddy. So as I was rowing my little chest boat across the water there, uh, a realization came to me. You see, we're on an island. So most of the traveling we're going to be doing around here is with this guy right here, our boat. Um, so what do we need when we have a boat and we're going to be doing a lot of boat traveling? We need a dock. But before we get started on that, I'm going to need some more spruce wood, my favorite wood in the game. And this is a good time probably to harvest all of these trees and move them over there to where we have the rest of our tree farm. Uh, 
there. And this much spruce should definitely be enough. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, almost six stacks. Nice. Okay, so I was looking around trying to figure out the best spot for a dock. At first, I was thinking straight out front from, uh, from our house there, just right out here. But I feel like there would be a lot of empty space here. And we might want to do something with that in the future. So then I started thinking about this over here. And I think this might be perfect because we might have a path that goes directly from there to the dock and then curves around that way towards the village. I think that would be really nice. So to start off with this, and I have a very typical kind of dock <laughs> design that I really like to use. Um, so I'm thinking we can use this spot. This looks really good. We can have it... Uh, I guess we can have it three wide and then we'll put like this right here um you know this right here and then we can kind of use that and then take it out i want to take it out pretty far guys i want to take it out far and i want it to go in different directions um so that we can kind of decide which direction we want to go once we get in the boat whether we want to go off that way or we want to go that way i think it'd be really cool to have kind of like not just a straight dock like a simple dock but have it more like a, a marina, almost like a marina. So something like that. If you can see it, this is just kind of me blueprinting it. Um, and we can expand it as we go. Like, let's say we get more ships and we, you know, we're two years from now when we're still working on this world and somehow we haven't died. It can go all the way out here. We can have some big pirate ships out here or whatever. Some merchant vessels. I'm really excited about this. So something like this is what I was thinking. And I need to do a little bit more work on detailing. Um, be right back. There, that looks really good. I, I, I love this build. I, I don't know what it is about it, but I really like what we've done here. here. Let me hop into free cam so you can see it. There, you can see right there. Ah, oh, I love this. I love this. And I was actually worried after I had got, you know, finished building it, I took a ride in the boat and I was worried that you wouldn't be able to get out of the boat, but you actually can. You just have to jump up onto the dock, which is perfect. Oh, I've been working on our cow crusher, like in between stuff when I'm taking a break from building things and chopping down trees and whatnot. And I apologize if this is loud, but look at this. We finally got to the point. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, we're actually getting, oh my goodness, that's a lot of beef. We're actually getting a lot of, uh, a lot of drops from these guys. So my time of eating this bread is coming to a close. And speaking of coming to a close, that's all the time I have to record today. Thank you so much for watching. As promised, here's a picture of some kittens just for you guys who stayed to the very end. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you.